Hi, I'm Laura from the Helen Family YMCA and I'm about to do a 30, 30 minute silver sneaker class. Um, silver sneakers is an older adult, adult class, it has range of motion, flexibility, uh, again we'll have a warm up, just kind of a little bit of everything. Uh, for this class you're going to need some hand weights if you don't have any hand weights at home. Um, I suggest something like a pair of canned beans. Uh, any kind of canned good, they kind of fit nicely in your hand and they're not too heavy, not too light. So anything like that, maybe even a water bottle. Uh, we will take a water break halfway through, but they usually fit in your hand really well too. <laughs> I'm designed for that. Uh, when you, you're also going to need a chair. If I move out of the way here, you can kind of see my chair a little bit there, sitting there. Make sure your chair doesn't rock or roll or isn't a fully chair. Um, <clears throat> you just want something pretty sturdy underneath you. Uh, we'll be sitting on it, but when we're standing up, getting a little bit of a warm up, you can put a hand on it for support. That's what it's there for. Uh, when you are not using your stuff, I put mine underneath my chair, but if there's, you know, a shelf or a coffee table or it's some kind of surface nearby you want to put them on. It's just don't put them underfoot. You don't want to be tripping over them. And make sure your space is clear of debris. Just because uh, we'll be moving around a little bit. We don't, I don't want anybody to be tripping over it. Um, <clears throat> make sure you're wearing proper footwear. Something like slippers or flip-flops can, you know, trip you up a little bit. So make sure you have something good on your feet. And socks can be slippery on certain floors, so be careful with that too. Bare feet is it's a, it's a better option. Uh, make sure that everyone knows that you can take a break at any time and just hop back right back in when you're ready. So just listen to your body, do what it needs to do. If it needs to rest for a minute or you need to drop your hands for a second and shake them out, feel free to do that at any time. And just, just hop in whenever you're, uh, whenever you're ready. And take a water break or whatever. Um, <clears throat> make sure everyone today is moving without pain. If there's something that hurts, maybe you just ready to rest that for a while. You just don't want to make it whatever's going on. You don't want to make that worse than it is. So make sure that all these movements, uh, that may be challenging, but they're not, not, no sharp pains today. Um, all right. With that, I'm going to get my stuff, put it under my chair and we'll get started. All right, we'll start standing up. We'll get a little bit of a a little bit of a warm up. So let's just start with a march. You get those hands and those feet moving, picking up those legs, right here in place. Nice upright posture, getting some breath in that body. Let's go side, touch, step touch back and forth keep those arms moving anybody need a little more maybe they can get their legs up kick them back a little bit good just kind of get them moving a little bit when it gets colder, we need a little more of a warm up. All right. Why don't you just reach to the side, just tap that toe down, just reach across your body. Grabbing something, pulling it towards you. Remember that you can always go faster or slower than I do. Just modify as you need to do. Go ahead and reach up. <clears throat> kind of like you're grabbing something, pulling it down. Let's pull that knee to that elbow.
kind of working the abs too, along with the legs, getting those warmed up. Making it feel good. Still concentrating on that upright body. Breath in and out. All right. Let's have your hands on your hips. We're going to rotate those hips. Make sure your feet are right underneath there. They can be a little wider than hip width, but hip width apart. Just getting the hips moving. Let's go the other direction. Like you're trying to stir a big pot with your hips. Right, good. Feet a little bit together. Knees bent. Go ahead and rotate those knees. And wake them up a little bit. Get them used to moving the other way. All right, fantastic. You need to be a little bit more upright. A little bit more difficult, but you can do it. All right, feet right underneath your hips. If you need a hand here for support, go right ahead. Otherwise, let's lift the heels up and back and down. Squeeze to the top and down. <laughs> up and down. Good. If you need a little balance there. Yeah, I mean, this does work your balance, but the emphasis is strength here. One more. All right, we're gonna put that toe in front. We're gonna lift it up and down. So if you need a little chair support here, go right ahead. Otherwise, right here. All right, switch sides, toe in front, just lift it up and down. Feel wobbly, go ahead and use that chair. All right, good. We're gonna, we're gonna come to the side so you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna tap my toe back, we're gonna lift it up and down. Up and down. Try not to concentrate too much on height. But we're squeezing the glutes back here at the top and then relax and squeeze and relax. Do the other side, squeeze and relax. Let's do two more, squeeze at the top, good. All right, this one, we're gonna take our foot, we're gonna come across our body. Ready? Here we go. We want our body to be upright, staying in the same position. A lot of balance work here, so go ahead, use a chair if you need to. Sometimes you even just need to put maybe one or two fingers on there just for, for your brain's reference. Kind of helps a little bit. All right, let's do the other foot across your body and down. Really good for this inner leg, this inner thigh here. One more. All right, one more motion. We're gonna take this leg out and back. Move over so you can see my leg. There we go. Let's feel it in that hip. Good. One more. All right. And remember, you can also have both hands on this chair. So let's do the other leg. We're not worrying too much about height, but we are squeezing this glute at the or the skip at the top. And one more, 
Fantastic. Okay, shake those legs out. We'll do some squats because that's always great for your legs. So we're going to sit back in our hips and up. Sit back and up. So you notice your knees pretty much stay in the same place. They don't go over your toes. If you need a chair here for support, that's what it's there for. Nice upright body, press chest nice and proud, shoulders back. All right, we're gonna do one more. All right, good. Short stride lunge. So this back leg here, it's kind of a kickstand just for a little balance support, down and up. Nice upright chest, we don't wanna be leaning forward. So uh, shoulders up and down, one more, and we'll switch sides. <clears throat> good. Looking good, making it feel good. All right. Work those legs pretty good today. Make sure you shake them out a little bit. Good. We'll rotate those knees just one more time. Just because we worked them, we're going to be good for our knees because uh, they support all of our weight. Let's go the other direction. All right, good. Let's find that chair, sit down, find the hand weights. We're going to work our arms a little bit. <clears throat> We're going to start off with a bicep curl. So let's have those hand in one hand weights in each hand all the way down. Palms face forward. We're going to come up and down. You want to make sure that your body is not swaying back and forth. It is staying in one spot and your elbow is staying in one spot too. Make sure you're going all the way down and then coming up, but not like all the way up. We don't want to go all the way up to our chin. We want to be up here because we want that elbow to stay in one spot. Okay, good. We're going to come right here in the middle and pulse it for five, four, good, nice upright body, two, one, down. All right. <clears throat> I'm just going to put down one down just for a second. We're going to bring that elbow up. If you need to support the hand, the arm, go right ahead. We're going to be working this tricep right here. I'm going to pull it up and down. Good. Try to keep that elbow right near our ear. It can come out a little bit if you're kind of struggling with this move a little bit, but the goal is to have it right next to your ear. Good. Bring it down. Oh, hold on. We need to come to the middle here and let's pulse it. Five, four, can you feel it in there? Two, one, and down. <clears throat> Check that out. Pull the other one up. Give it a little support if you need it. Up and down. Now squeeze at the top and back down. Good. Make sure that's by your ear. All right. Okay, let's go right here in the middle and go ahead and pulse it. Five, two, one, and down. Good. Shake that out. <clears throat> All right. Before we move on, we're going to pause just for a second and have a water break. We're going to put this down, grab your water. It's important to stay hydrated, especially when you're exercising. So 
drinking water, best stuff ever. All right, let's put this down. When you're ready, go ahead and pick up those hand weights. Work a little bit of our shoulders right here by our side, be flat on the floor. We're going to come up and down, up and down. If you need to bend those elbows, kind of makes it a little easier. And of course, if you need a smaller range of motion, go right ahead. <clears throat> body upright, check that posture. Okay, we're going to pulse it for five, two, one, down. Gonna roll the shoulders just for very briefly, and then we're going to go backwards, back and down. <clears throat> Good. How far we can go up just really depends on our flexibility and our shoulders. Just something we're working on. Make sure that body is still. It's not swaying back and forth. Up and down. Let's do two more. Squeeze the top. Make sure you, if, you can, if you need to bend those elbows, go right ahead. All right. Roll the shoulders up just briefly, and we'll go forward. Again, don't sway your body back and forth. Nice tight core here. Because your core is stabilizing everything. And we're going to do one more. All right, good. Roll the shoulders a little bit. All right, arms up the goal posts. <clears throat> we're going to come up and down. Up and down. If you need to drop them at some point, just shake them out real quick and then come back or right ahead. Make sure those hands are forward of your head, not behind. And one more. Okay, let's pulse it. Five, two, one, and down. All right, good. Roll it again. Um, good. Let's go do some ab work here. We're going to have this right at Heart Center. You need to bring it out. It just makes it a little harder. Bring it in makes it a little easier. So I'm going to go right here in the middle and we're going to crunch our abs. So we're going to crunch and then all the way back up. Crunch. And we're going to come all the way back up every time. One more. Actually, a couple more. <laughs> Sorry. Now one more. All right, good. Upright, check that posture. Hands by your side. Uh, we're going to do some penguins. So squeeze that side body, come up to the center, and then other side and up. So we're going to go back and forth. Make sure those sit bones are on that chair the whole time. They're not coming off of it. Just back and forth, squeezing that side. Not leaning forward, we're not hunching our back. Good breath coming in and out. All right, good. All right, have these here. We're going to bring them up to our shoulder and all the way across our body. So up and down. We're going to go back and forth with a seat belt motion right across our body. You can feel that twist in that body a little bit, making it feel good. Good ab motion here. All right, we're going to go the other direction, so come up to the other shoulder, cross the other way. Good. Get away from your itchy nose. Up and down. Very good. All right. 
right here by our side. If you want to put one or maybe even two down, have your hand here on your thigh for your support. We're going to do some airplane and up. Or you can put both hands on the thigh. It's a good ab workout here. Down. And all the way back up to good posture. You don't want to torque your neck back too much. So you don't want that kink in that neck. Good airplane move here. Fantastic. All right, good. Let's put these down for a second. Oh, let's just put one down. We're going to work our hands for a second. So right here, in both hands, we'll just rotate that wrist for a second. Get some good range of motion in that wrist. Working in a little bit other direction. Fantastic. All right, we're going to take this weight or this can, whatever you're holding, in both hands on either side, and we're going to try to pull it apart and then relax. Pull it apart and relax. Elbows pointing pretty much downward. If any of these moves are hurt at all, you want, I mean, maybe uncomfortable, but not hurt, then you shouldn't do it. But we're working on our grip strength here. Very important. They're kind of all those little muscles are what get we, what you notice getting in the first, uh, the very first. Mm -hmm. Right, good. Now we're going to take it in both hands. We're going to try to smash it, like we're trying to smash it together and relax. So smash it and relax. Good. Working our, actually our chest muscles here. Smash it together and relax. A couple more. One more. All right, good. All right, let's put now. Let's put it down. We're gonna stretch in. Place those fingers right here in front. Get that upper back. Come up and down a little bit, and then just settle in whatever that wherever that sticky place is. Yeah, there we go. Open up the chest all the way up. Try to get all the way across. Breathing in and out. Pull our thumbs down. Try to get that bicep in there. All right, good. Let's put our elbow up. We can pull it or push it back. Right up here. Excellent. And feel it, can't you? Let's go ahead the other other side. Pull it back. Or push it. Excellent. And down. Come down, you don't need to go fast. Pull this across the body. Hugging it in. Trying to relax that shoulder so it's not up by your knee or near, near your ear. And let's do the other side. Right across that body. Excellent. All right, let's do our hands. We worked our hands a little bit, so let's rotate those wrists. Other direction. Good. 
Good. Wiggle the fingers. We're going to move the other one. A little awkward, but we can do it. Good. Open, close the hands. Whew. Yeah. Okay. Shake them out. Let's do our leg. So let's have one heel out in front. Hands here on the thigh for support. And stretch down. Go the other side. Good. Let's put our ankle right here on your knee. Hands right here all the way forward. other side. Remember you can have it a little lower if you need to. If you don't have the hip flexibility to bring it all the way up, that's okay. There we go. A nice stretch in there. All right. Let's have our legs wide. We're going to drop one leg down for our up here on our toe. Come to the side. We're getting a nice stretch in here. Kind of makes our back nice and straight, doesn't it? Nice breaths. Other direction. Stretch in here. Straighten that leg. All right, good. Come to the center. Hands under your thighs. Just rotate round your back to the ceiling and then to the floor. Like you're pulling that chest to the floor. We're doing some cat and cows here. Because the back should always be nice to the back. Make sure you don't do any of these moves if they hurt. Back and forth. All right, good. Let's dip one shoulder down. All right, other shoulder. Mm. Feels good, doesn't it? All right. Let's do our feet. So let's rotate that ankle. Other direction. Good. Point and flex the whole foot. And then wiggle those toes in that shoe. So we're going to the other side. So we rotate that ankle. If it needs to be resting on the floor, that's all right. Other direction. Try to get as good a range of motion as ankle as you can, as your foot and your ankle will allow. Point and flex. And wiggle those toes. There we go. All right, feet on the floor. Hands by your side. Let's breathe up. Breathe it all the way in. And then out. Let's do it again. Breathe it in and breathe it out. Thank you for everyone for joining me today. I hope everyone's staying safe and healthy. I hope everyone had a good Thanksgiving. I did and I missed everyone. So I hope to see you again. Bye-bye.